design kind of, you know, yeah. not classic. Fix me, make it better in here. These kids, these, these days. These kids. Hashtag grown ups. Grown ups. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're Lily and Meg. We're diving into design. Yeah, we're gonna to talk to you about more design stuff this mm. week. Mm. Lily, what is your inspiration station for the week? I am very inspired by things I don't have, first of all. Yeah. Mainly right now, bright front doors. Mm. I dream about a very simple dream, having a home one day. <laughs> right. A home, I mean my own single family home and not an apartment where I could do things like paint my front door a wacky color. They're just like some of those little like sacrifices that you make yeah. to live in the best city ever, which yeah. is you share a building with yeah. lots of strangers. Yeah, you can't paint your front door. No. You just get what you get. You get what I you love get. A uh, red front door, mm. purple, turquoise. Ooh. Doesn't matter. No. I just want something cheery and that's yes. offset from like the house itself and it says, Welcome to my home. This week I want to bring in some paint accents. Oh. I love seeing people be a little bit bold and whimsical, if you will, <laughs> with paint feeling like you don't have to commit to a whole wall or a totally. whole room, but even doing like a little accent around a shelf or love on it. a door. And I love creating a little paint accent that yeah. creates an op art illusion. I, like that. Uh, I did that two apartments ago and it just creates a visual interest. Yeah. As they say. If you have an eyesore or a view that's not so mm -hmm. great or a teeny tiny room and you want to pull the eye somewhere to give a dynamic Yeah, look, look. over here. I'm always afraid of the most 70s things, but you do a really good job yes. of making it feel fresh and modern again by keeping everything else kind of simple. When I didn't have money to have an actual bed bed, I painted a, just a brown rectangle at the back of my queen size bed. Okay. Did a little like branch detail, it was branches time. The so branches were really big at that moment. They were big, yeah. they were big. And it, it was beautiful because it looked like it anchored the bed yes. to the wall because it was just one of those like metal See, frames. You're a DIYer too, my friend. A DIY. I dabble. So this week I wanna paint an old junky metal file cabinet that I have. Great idea. It's black. So I tried to cover it with washi tape. Do not cover black with washi tape because washi tape is thin and you can see right through it and it just looks junky. So I think I want to paint it. I like it. I like it a lot and I feel like, you know, you covet a bright front door. Yeah. We're not there yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe this would like fill both needs. Brightness <laughs> and taking care of an old piece of furniture that you're not yeah. as into. So this week's Depend the Trend is a classic, maybe not so much a trend, but I'm seeing a lot of them lately. And it's Chesterfield mm. and style sofas. I always love a Chesterfield, mm. especially like the super luxurious mm. tobacco leather Chesterfield Ooh, yeah. sofas. As long as you pick a fabric or a material that's going to be long lasting, if this is a trend that you can get on and not regret. I do think they ask for a sophisticated room and I feel like I'm not I think at not. the point. If you went with something like a classic Chesterfield with everything else modern, if you pull in colors that almost clash with the Chesterfield where you're you're playing against the classic I like that. nature of it, I like it that. looks really good and it feels like rock and roll. Casual. And that, that brings it to a more modern, fresh it's, place. Yeah. Shabby chic, you're dead to me. I just can't. For me, yeah. it's mason jars. Mason jars are dead to me outside of their intended yes. use for canning things. Mm -hmm. For canning things. You got tomatoes, you got fruits to preserve, cool. mason jar. I use them for storing crafts and supplies. Sure. They are great for like storing things and they're airtight and I have like little teeny tiny ones that I make spice mixtures yeah. in and stuff. That I think is fine. It's when you put like the straw through it. Right. Or you're using it outside of its intended use it's that it's like constant. mason jars, you're dead to me. Sorry. It's not necessarily in my shopping cart, but I'm seeing it a lot and I really, really love it, is bronze flatware. Yes. That was actually something yeah. I wanted you to weigh in for me because I have weigh about in. three different bronze, brass um, sets of cutlery. I actually would like you guys to weigh in. Is it a trend that like in a year I'm going to be like, why did I spend money on brass cutlery? I just think it looks so lovely. I love brass accents and I think they look fantastic as just a simple hook mm -hmm. or drawer pulls. Mm -hmm. Really nice little pops of class. No, I agree. In kitchen, so much of the stuff is utilitarian. 
I think it's interesting to see like that strange metal that you don't think belongs there. Yeah. Thanks everyone. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for sharing and for weighing in. Yeah. And, uh, we'll be back next week. Yes, we will. Leave comments. Let us know what you want to see and what you want us to weigh in on. Do you have any plans or projects for your apartment or your home that you want our advice? We're we happy. Have to offer it to we you. are happy to we give are you our opinion. Happy. Thanks everyone.